Well, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a little short intro. In this video, we're going to be building a 24 volt Boston Power lithium ion battery. And we're going to have a 7S 8P battery pack. We're using the K Weld welder to make all of our welds. And I have a soldering iron to make those soldering iron connections for our battery leads and our cell checker leads. Alright, so I got these Boston cells here. As you can see, I've had to cut these, these gaps out in between to make these cells fit. Because if not, they get in here and they just it just doesn't doesn't work out too well. So what I'm having to do is take a pair of snips. So you see I'm keeping these these main these were so these are three cell three cell holders. I mean I'm leaving the main as for support and you as you see I'm cutting out the gaps in between here. It just doesn't fit as well as it does in the pictures when you buy them. Pictures on eBay. So again we're gonna skip this. Skip the main junction between the two holders. Cut these out. even capacities across all the series that we can I'm gonna pull all these batteries out and I'm gonna set them into 5400 5300 52 51 and on down I don't think I have any much lower than that so as you can see here's a 53 so we're gonna make a 54 pile and a 53 pile So since we're going to be doing double rows, we do eight cells in parallel. We're going to do the first row going this way. And every other slot, we're going to start off with these big ones. So we're just going to start. And you're going to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that you have a higher cell in one of them. That way you can kind of adjust your capacity. So, all right, we're going to start. But this is the positive end. We're going to start with that up. And we're starting with the 55. So one skip and we're going to also put the little these are the negative tabs we're going to put them on the inside every other one okay so that's one two three four five six So onto the 51, so we're gonna turn these. And we're gonna have them facing this way.
and we're going to have the, the negative pointing in towards so these two rows and these two rows. So we want those negatives to be down the middle of, in between them. Okay, last one. So and then now they're going to be facing this way. So 56 cells, we have four left over. These were in the 46s. I might retest that one. So now we're gonna go through and we're gonna rotate these. There we go. Now you can see what I was talking about what I have in the, the, the um, the negative ends close together. All right, so now we're going to use this here. We're going to make some strips to go in here. So as you can see, I sized it up, and then now I'm going to make a what is it? You need seven? Yeah, because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it on these. And then so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to cut seven of these, and then we'll go from there. All right, so that was on that that one Boston Power cell that didn't have the the tab already welded on it, and it looks like it's stuck. Oh, <laughs> no, it didn't. All right, so we're gonna turn it up. We're gonna go to 75. Now, when you're using this many jewels, you want to make sure that there are no gaps between the probe and the tab and the battery, or it'll blow a hole in it.
reusing these little tabs right here. We're reusing these to make this connection, to make the series connection on the battery. So we're gonna cut all these to shape or to size. I'd like to see, you know, all the rest of them, I, I kept the wires the same for whatever reason. I don't like cutting wires. I like keeping them in their longest possible, so. But for this one, you know, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna try and see how nice and needy I can make it. So having all these loose wires, make sure that your, your BMS is not hooked up. Because if this is hooked up to this uh, first negative right here, and one of these like drags across any part of this it'll just it'll blow your bms up and i learned that the hard way a couple times so don't let don't let that happen to you the way you hook up a bms the you have uh, one negative or maybe one positive it can go either way and seven positives once one for each series connect and i thought the very next positive was all the way across the battery so 29 volts, that's not how it works. Each one of these wires is the 4.2 volts for one cell. So the negative goat needs to be on 4.2 negative. The first negative and the first positive gives it that, that common rail between the, the for the 4.2 volts. All right, so this is the second one. I'm just gonna pick a spot here in the middle somewhere. I don't want to warm the battery up, so I'm, I'm not doing it over top of a battery. Make sure you get a uh, solder over top of the wire. That way you don't end up getting the phrase. All right, so that was number two. I want to cut it just a little long or you know make sure you have some wiggle room in case you accidentally snip the whole wire. I'm gonna go to this main negative, see what happens. 
Woo. Yep, looks like it worked. Make sure there's no metal on the table underneath you. I'm set that down. Thank you guys for watching. EMS all wired up. Got the battery all wrapped. Got our balance leads hanging out here. Got a charge cable. A negative. Yeah. Oh, what you think? Pretty nice. Pretty nice setup. All right. Well, there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Boston Power 24 volt 7S 8P battery. Uh, it's going to be rated at about a kilowatt. Um, as you'll see in the next video, we'll do some capacity testing and you'll see all that. I've already got some of it filmed out. Well, I'm in the process of editing it now, but I'm getting you this video out right now. Check out either one of these videos up here, some of my other videos, and you can see how bad they were compared to how much better this one was. So, all right, again, thanks for watching and come back. See all the rest of them. Thanks.